Hey everyone, welcome to Rugged Outdoors Guide. My name is Pete Stack, and yeah, you guessed it, this is my channel. Hey, today we're gonna to be talking about something that uh, it kind of gets my attention every time I see it, and I just have to comment on it, and that is how to properly get into a canoe, whether you're getting into the canoe from a dock or from some rocks or maybe just a nice beach. Whatever the case is, the principles are the same and a surprisingly huge number of people just don't quite get it right. And sometimes when I watch people, it's like a comedy routine. It could be a sitcom on TV. It's, it's great to watch, but I also feel like I want to help people. <laughs> so that's what this video is all about. Before I get into telling you how to get into a canoe properly, maybe we should look at some ways not to get into a canoe. Oh, hey, be careful. Yeah, I know, I know. I've been doing this for 40 years, okay? I don't think I need your help, all right? Ow! Oh, ow, oh, my, ow. oh, are you okay? Yeah, you know what? I'm fine. Just leave me alone, all right? I've been doing this long enough. Please. Okay, time to go for a little ride here. Whoa! Whoa! Hey, well, the, the, hey I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. It's okay. We're all professionals here. So it's, it's, it's okay. It's, it's, it's okay. I've been doing this for many years. Oh, I'm a veteran. It's a little bit cold. This water's a little bit chilly here. Oh my. That's very, that's very tippy. See this? Look at that. Oh my. That's chippy. I don't, I, I. All right, so now we want to look at how to properly get into a canoe. Whether you're getting in on a dock, which I am now, same principle applies when you're on a sandy beach or a rocky shoreline. One of the first things is keep your hands on the gunnels. But when you're on a dock like this, you can't really grab the, uh, the other gunnel. So you have to, the next thing is to step in the center. And so what I do is I step in the center, grab the gunnels pretty much at the same time. The other thing you want is a low center of gravity. So you don't want to stand up, obviously. You want to keep your body as low as possible. And something that most people don't do is just give a, a, like a half a second to concentrate on the idea of balancing. Like if you know this is a tippy craft, think about that and go, okay, I want to, you know, put my caution into gear here, all right? Because if you do, I'm sure it won't be too tippy for you because you're already expecting tippiness. And above all, don't be spooked by the tippiness because you know it's coming, right? So let me do all those things. Low center of gravity, hands on gunnels, and step in the center. So here's my step and hands on gunnels right away. And I'm also really, really low. I'm bent right over. Low center of gravity. Here I go. Okay, now I'm going to kneel. I'm ready to go solo paddling, for example. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that canoes that are empty like this are very tippy, like this one. Flat-bottomed canoes, which this one is not, are a little more stable, but this one is very tippy. And light canoes, like this one, are tippy. This canoe weighs 40 pounds. So I had the worst scenario possible here on uh, getting into a canoe because this is very, very tippy. So. Um, let's take a look at that one more time. And in the meantime, I'll show you how to get out, which is basically the same thing. So on a dock, it's easy. You can just slide your butt out on here, but you can also just kind of get up like this, foot in the center, 
and then step out. All right, it seems pretty basic, but you'd be surprised at how many first timers don't get it right. Okay, here it is one more time. Low center of gravity, step in the center, hands, gunnels. And down you go. All right, guys, that's just a quick primer on how to get into a canoe and a little bit of getting out of the canoe properly. Pretty much works in any situation. I happen to be on a dock, it'll work for you anywhere. If you guys appreciate little tutorials like this, maybe some product reviews and some uh, trip documentaries that we've got coming up probably next year, please do give us a like and a subscribe. I'd love to see you every week. We're gonna come up with one of these every week. And guys, until the next one, get out there, enjoy God's creation like this beautiful lake. And above all, keep on looking up. Thank <laughs> you.